everyone, it's Miss Fluffle, and this is going to be the writing portion of our story, Pizza at Sally's, where we're talking about sequencing how to make a pizza. So remember, there's a couple different tools you can use during this to complete this writing portion. You can use your journal. You can use this little flip book. You can use this T-chart. Or you can use just regular writing paper. Now I took just regular line paper and I made big lines for kindergarten writing. Um, if you are ready to write on little lines, that's fine. But I just wanted to make it easier for us today. So as you can see, I already have our words first next, then, and last. So all I need to do is add to the sentence and end it with a period. So let's look back and figure out what comes first when we are making a pizza. First, we roll out the dough. So first is going to be the first word in the sentence, and it's already capitalized for us. So all we need to do is make a space and write about the first step. The first step is we roll out the dough. So you make a space, and the first word is we. Sight word, W-E, we. And remember, in kindergarten, we are using inventive spelling, but if you're in a higher grade and you already know how to write the words, you can write them correctly. We are just sounding them out and writing the sounds that we hear. We roll. So we make a space and we write roll. R -o -o. R-O-L. Roll. First sound we hear is R-R. -r. So we make a space and we write R. R O. Next sound is O. R O O L. And that's actually going to be two L's. Roll. First we roll out. Ow. Two vowels. O U. Out. T. We roll out the. We don't have enough room up here, so we're going to go down to the next line. We're going to start the very edge. We don't have to use a finger space for this one because there's no word in front of it. We roll out the sight word T H E. We roll out the Dough. What's that first sound in do? D, d, d. A circle and a line. Remember that D's wear diapers and B's have bellies. D. O. Spelled O. U. G. H. Dough. Dough is a weird word. You can't really sound out the word dough. So you just kind of do your best with it. We roll out the dough. So we're done with the first sentence. So at the end, we put a period. First, we roll out the dough. That's step one. Next. Next, we spoon out the sauce. Next, we already have our first word, so we're going to start our sentence after the word next. Next, we roll, sorry, we spoon, let's say we spread the sauce. We spread the sauce. So we're going to need four more words. Make a finger space. The next word is we. W, 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 e, e. 
Also, that's a sight word, so we should already know how to spell it. Next, we spread. Sp -er -ed. Spread. That's a long word, so let's find the first sound. S, -s, -s, -s. Make a space in between our words, because this is going to be the start of our new word. S. P S P R R S P R E S P R E D D D We spread the Make a space. I think I have enough room to write the over here. T H E. We spread the sauce. S A S. So if you're writing it and you write S, -S A O S, -S that's perfectly fine because those are the letters that you hear in the word sauce. Sauce is a funny word, so we can spell it together. Make a space. Oop, I don't have enough room over here, so I need to go down to the next line. Sauce is spelled S A U C E. Period. But again, if you sound out your words and your words don't look like mine, that is okay. We are just practicing hearing the sounds and putting them onto the paper. Next, we spread the sauce. So first we rolled out the dough. Next, we spread the sauce. Then what happens? Then we sprinkle the cheese. We just sprinkle the cheese right on there. So we already have our word then. So we're gonna make a space. We sprinkle the cheese. Four more words. So let's make a space. First word is we. It's a sight word. We know how to spell it. W E. Then we sprinkle. That's a big word. Sprinkle. So let's break it into syllables. Spring cool. Spring cool. Let's do the first syllable first. Spring. Er, ink, sprink. Ooh, that's a big one. Let's make a space. First sound we hear is s, s. s p, p, p. S, p, r, r. S, p, r, e. She knows I. Sp er e n. Sp er e k k k k. Sprinkle l. And then there's a secret letter at the end. E. Sprinkle. Then we sprinkle on. Make a space on. Ah, uh, o, oh. on, in. It's also a sight word. We sprinkle on. Make sure we're rereading when we're writing. Then we sprinkle on the sight word. Help me write it. T H E. We sprinkle on the cheese. Ch ease. Cheese. Now, if you hear ch, c h e e s, s that's fine. Ch, ch. Digraph. Two sounds, that, two letters that make one sound. Ch, ch. C H. Make a space. C 
H. Ch e. Long E says it's going to be a double E. Ch e. S. And there's a magic E at the end. Then we sprinkle on the cheese. All right, we're done with that sentence. So at the end, we put a period. All right, we're almost done. One more sentence to go. Last, after we have our dough spread out, our sauce uh, spread on, and a sprinkle of cheese, lastly, we add toppings. So last, we add toppings. Three words. First word is we, so we make a space after the word last, because this is our last step in our process. We, sight word, W-E. We put p -a -t. P, p make a space, p -a -u. P -a -t -t -t. We put on a o on in we put on the t h e we put on the toppings t up make a space t t t t a o Ing, ing, it's that suffix that we use at the end of some words, ing, I-N-G. So with this word, you double the letter and then you can add I-N-G, toppings. Now we, we could just add one topping, like just pepperonis, or we could add several different toppings. So when we have more than one, we make it plural, toppings. So we put an S at the end. S makes it plural, that means more than one. We put on the toppings. So it goes at the end, our period. So let's make sure we have swag with our sentences. Did we start with capital letters? Yes. Did we write our words neatly? That means we stayed in between the lines and we went from the top line to the bottom line. Yes. Do you have a space in between your words? Yes. If you are noticing that you don't have a space in between your words, you need to erase and, and try again. And lastly, did you give it punctuation. Do you have periods at the end of your sentences? Yes. So no matter which uh, method you used, if you used your journal or this piece of paper or the t-chart or the flap, flap chart, make sure that you're writing your sentences neatly and don't forget to draw a beautiful picture of your pizza. So that is how we make a pizza. Have a great day.